I'm Mike Sokol, and welcome to the How-To Seminars and the No Shock Zone. If you notice, I have three outlets in front of me, wired correct ground, bootleg ground, and reverse bootleg. And if you look at the diagram on your screen, you'll note that the correct ground is wired exactly to electrical standards, where you have a separate ground wire, a separate hot wire, and a separate neutral wire wired to the appropriate connections on the front of the outlet. A bootleg ground, however, is done when the neutral side and the ground are strapped together to make up for the fact that you don't have a dedicated safety ground wire in your uh, building wiring. A reverse bootleg though is the same sort of thing that's attempted but when you don't know which wire coming in is hot and which is neutral you can actually get it reversed. So let me show you how we typically test for those. So most every tester out there will just take, grab a simple five dollar um, ground tester like you can get from any store and if you notice if you plug it into the correctly grounded outlet you have the two amber lights which of course is what you expect and everybody uses that as the test however you can also plug it into a bootleg grounded outlet and it will show you that that it, it is wired correctly although it's not illegal in all districts However, if we plug it into a bootleg ground, you would hope that this would give you an indication that something was wrong, that in fact this ground pin is sitting at 120 volts. But look, it doesn't. All it shows you is it looks like it's perfectly fine. So for the average inspector checking an outlet, he could plug that into that outlet and he would think that that was wired correctly when in fact the ground pin on this is now sitting at 120 volts above ground and any appliance plugged into it would in fact be electrified. Now you might say, well, okay, that's because you're just simply using a $5 tester. What if we use a fancy tester? So I have an Amprobe INSP3, which is about a $300 tester, and I'll plug it into the first outlet, and it says testing outlet, and if you note on here, it says polarity is okay, ground impedance is around 1 ohms, so that looks wired perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and move it over to the bootleg ground. When I do that, it's doing a test, and it says the polarity is okay, but there is a hint that something is not quite right with the ground because you notice I, my, my ground impedance light is blinking that says it's around 0 0.03 ohms. So it knows that you've just tied the neutral over to the ground pin on that outlet. One would hope that that was going to tell us that our reverse bootleg ground was wired wrong. So let's go check it out. Here's the interesting thing. It doesn't know that it's rewired in reverse polarity. It says polarity is okay. Again, it's hinting that it is a bootleg ground because it has a 0 0.03 ohm impedance, but it does not tell you that that entire ground is electrified. And again, any appliance plugged into there will have the body of the appliance itself electrified. So here's the secondary test that I'm recommending. Uh, either test the outlets with a simple $5 tester or with a more complete ground loop impedance tester, then use something like a fluke bolt alert um, that will, is normally used by electricians just for just testing outlets to see if they're hot or not, and do the sequence. First, if I go ahead and put it on, this, on the hot blade, you'll see that it does in fact light up and beep, so we know that that's hot. Neutral should not show anything. Ground shouldn't show anything. And then we go back again and confirm that, that, that our fluke volt alert is indeed an, um, operating correctly. Our bootleg ground will in fact test the same way. So we go look, we confirm there is hot on the hot blade, there is nothing on the neutral blade, and there is in fact nothing on the ground, which is exactly right. And this doesn't know whether this is a bootleg ground, it just knows that the grounds are, ground and the neutral are close to earth potential, and it knows that this is hot on this side. However, let's go to the reverse bootleg outlet. If we go to a boot, uh, one that's been reversed with the black and white wire swapped coming in, you see that even if I get anywhere near this, near the hot, near the neutral, near the ground, it in fact is enunciating and showing you that that whole box is hot. Now this is not a metal cover, this is a plastic cover, and you can see even from an inch or more away, it's showing that it's hot. 
So I'm recommending this as a secondary test to find out if, in fact, your outlet's been wired in reverse. And if it indicates like this, that means you need to go find an established ground connection, use a typical voltmeter and run a wire over and find out what happened because the whole outlet box has been wired uh, with reverse polarity. I'm Mike Sokol, and thanks for watching.